Welcome to a world with global warming. It's called Earth. You might have heard of it. Small rock somewhere in space. No? Okay. Jokes aside, how did we get here, where the globe is slowly heating up every year? Well, we need to start at the beginning. Fossil fuels. The Earth is filled with them. Or at least, it was. We took fossil fuels like coal and oil from the ground to use it as, you guessed it, fuel. These fossil fuels, like coal and oil, are then used to power things like factories and cars, respectively. But using these things causes carbon dioxide emissions, which build up in the atmosphere. This is where it becomes a problem. Normally, rays from the sun will travel through the atmosphere and bounce back. Some stay while others return to space. This allows for good stable temperature. With carbon dioxide, though, there are much fewer rays from the sun that reflect back into space, causing them to stay in the atmosphere, making things warmer. But how bad could a little warmer be? Pretty bad. Years of rising temperatures have caused the ice caps to melt, but not entirely yet. If they completely melt, then there will be a huge problem. Ocean levels will rise, coastlines will be eaten up by the encroaching sea, thousands will lose homes. This sounds horrible, right? So what do we do to stop this? We can't shut down all the factories in one day and switch to electric cars or bicycles. That would crash the economy. Many world organizations have come up with their own solution to this, all involving cutting down on carbon emissions. The most notable of these is the Kyoto Protocol, in which industrialized countries cut down on their carbon emissions, but this only covers 10 to 12 percent of global emissions. Additionally, 49 developing countries have pledged to cut emissions. These pledges cover 80 percent of global emissions, but aren't internationally binding. So here's a solution of my own that even you could pitch in on. Over time, we plant more trees, shrubs, and such to reduce the amount of CO2 in the air and at the same time slowly switch from using fossil fuels to renewable energy. For example, there are about 10 million factories in the world and the average cost of a tree is somewhere around $10. So then, each factory could plant about 10 trees. It's only $100 for each factory, but in total there would be 100 million trees planted. Now. The total amount of carbon released in 2014 was 9.8 billion tons. On average, 40 trees can absorb one ton of carbon, so that means our 100 million trees absorbed 2.5 million tons in one year. I know it's not much, but coupled with the steady decrease in carbon emissions, it will help. So there it is, global warming in Minecraft. Hope you enjoyed!